everyone. Uh, this is going to be a short demo on the spreadsheet automation that I made to leverage Workado um, to take your Google Sheets rows and turn them into Filevine projects. So for this automation, I have built it out uh, to use um, a built folder within your Google Drive uh, to house your Google Sheets that contain information. So as you can see, I have three folders here to run, template, and completed. And these three folders work together um, to achieve some of our automation goals. So to start the automation process, we go into template here. Um, and as you can see, we have the spreadsheet, te spreadsheet template and test cases. Um, for this automation, I recommend that everyone keep a template that they copy from. So this is going to be using the uh, um, names of various fields that we'll be putting into your file vine. And then you can copy that and build out cases that we will then export. And then so from here in our template section, what we need to do is make a copy that we can put in our to run folder. Any Google Sheet that goes into our to run folder is going to uh, attempt to be processed by our automation and put into Filevine. When this automation processes them, it will process within the to run folder and when it is completed, all previous cases will be moved in here and labeled as completed. So we know what has been done, what's been successful, um, and what has errors on it. So let's go ahead and get that started. Let's put these test cases into our file line. So to do that, I'm just gonna hit file here and then hit make a copy. It's gonna give us a chance to rename. We don't really have to rename it here. I'll remove the copy of. And all we have to do is change the folder destination. So instead of having it in template, I'm going to back out and I'm going to choose to run. I'll select that and then make a copy. This is our new copy of our test cases um, sheet that is now in to run that our automation is now going to start on. Uh, since it's going to be making these cases kind of as it goes, it does take a little second. I would expect um, this one not really to even just take a minute, but just so you guys don't have to wait with me, I'll go ahead and pause it, and then we can see the result in our file line. Okay, it's been a minute. I'm going to now check and see um, how our projects look. So I'm first going to look for Mario. And as you can see, we both have Mario and Luigi. Let's look at Mario's case. So it created the name of Mario for our project here. It created a new project contact as well with the date of birth. Um, and we probably have some additional information in other spots. Um, but this is going to be the basics. Um, how we customize this automation is up to you. It's of course going to be specific to your plan um, and your template. Um, but what we can put in here um, can be greatly expanded. I always recommend that we keep this um, limited kind of with starter information that you really need to get going on a project because obviously the more um, columns that we have in this automation, the more there is to take care of and more to enter. Um, but this automation can be really helpful if you get CSVs or Excels um, that you can put into Google Sheets from other services. If your team member just likes the simplicity of being able to enter this kind of information into a document in bulk ad, um, there's really a lot of applications. Uh, if you're at all interested in talking with me, Susie with Fine Skills about how uh, we can get this implemented for you, I'm always happy um, to set up a meeting and chat about it. Please feel free to reach out to me at Susie at vineskills.com.